just cartoony as hell. Yeah. And they just use every stock. They just use every stock. Oh, noise. man. Old Rare games just had such good sound design. They do. They do. All right. We're going to get good. Coleman and Dirk. Three, two, Yo, Devin one, on Team Kong. Go. Yo, chat. <laughs> Someone put up a, a prediction. King Kong versus Godzilla. Who you got? All right, so we now have, uh, it's going to be Simon Richter. It's going to oh, be Richter. Oh, no. Okay, uh, you're good. You're good. But it's it's not Snake. Good. What was he going to not be good? Um, yeah, it's Snake. <laughs> so I, I have spoken to, you know, the Belmont players. And so Belmonts are always going to have projectiles. You know, they're always going to have a projectile. But the thing that differentiates them is they throw out the first projectile, and whatever the second projectile is, that's where their personality starts to show. <laughs> that's, that's a diversity. I mean, no, like, actually, like, like, the way that they'll try and cover options is, you know, that's what the second projectile is all about. And as we're seeing right now, just an entire wall that Coltman has to get through. Uh... Nonetheless, it's not a huge amount of damage that's being dealt, despite, you know, the long periods of neutral and the hits that have happened. Only 84% has been dished out onto Coltman. So, oh, that was a great shield running up and just, you know, blanking that uh, Holy Fire so we can get a grab it. Yeah, Coltman has to avoid one thing and one thing only, and that's the ledge. You don't want to be there, especially where you can't move much as Snake. So, uh, Snake does have the option usually of recovering high. Very few characters do have that. But, oh, I, I like the fact that Coltman is, you know, he's kind of getting knocked around and knocked around. Ooh. But then he recognizes the one opportunity and he just really capitalizes off of it. He's ducking under Belmont's buttons. Being in the right range, which is, like, close to him. You gotta remember. Uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know also, the way Ledge Invincibility, or at least the way it used to be, correct me if I'm wrong, the way it is calculated has to do with uh, your percentage and the amount of time you spent off stage inversely. So if you haven't been off stage very long, you have very low in, uh, invincibility once you grab the ledge. So that's why Coltman, you know, he had gone off stage only a little bit, very high percent, and so he only had probably a second of invincibility, and that's why that axe connected and killed. Help me find the gaps. Ooh, just using the crawl? It's very crafty way to get in. It is like a really cool option. Not one that can really easily be abused because, you know, the Belmont, Belmont can absolutely, uh, you know, hit a crouching snake with something like that down angled back air or forward air. Oh, barely getting Ooh. out of that. Didn't so get the bad spot. Though. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dark Falcon, they're so good at landing this random axis confirms. That was a really random, good. that was dude, like galaxy calculated. Oh yeah, galaxy calculated, yeah. You're right, it's not random. All right, thank you, Jupiter Jeff, for the follow. Um, yeah, Coleman doing a really good job of trying to sneak it right in, but... Like it's, getting, it's, it's being played really evenly-ish. Yeah, like, like right here, Coleman takes the stock. Pretty good. Like he's keeping it really close against the uh, Dark Falcon, finding the, all the blind spots like can sneak in a grenade or some punches and playing a little bit of CQC. Oh! This is going to be a lot bigger than I thought. Okay. This game, thank you for the follow. Yeah, these grenades are... Very useful for Coltman. Same time, there, there's, there's Bane if he gets hit by a random uh, Belmont item. That shield is getting really low. Yeah, he, he, he can't afford the block as much. And now he's off stage in the, the worst spot you can be in the snake. So she on the ledge against Oh! oh. Could have thrown him, but they just chose to force him. Yeah, and honestly, so Coltman has called him out on that quite a few times already, but I honest, probably one of the reasons why he isn't capitalizing on it is because a grab doesn't get him that much. I think he was hoping for like a roll or a jump out of shield so he can oh! punish. He's dead? Where did that come from? <laughs> that one nice little grenade confirmed just killed him off that? Nice. Slow us down a little bit over here. He jumps off that. That was... That little, that motor, this grenade hits. He runs up and goes. It's at 84. Nice. 
Coleman ready. It's one little grenade. That's a mid-screen neutral right there, just to take out that stock. Yeah, they're doing a really good job of uh, keeping it close by just running right into the, the little blind spot that Belmont has right there in front of them and just hitting them for it. Yeah, and they were also trading off who takes that stock. So, because yeah. normally when you think about this kind of matchup, when one player takes the stock, it often very quickly devolves. <laughs> you know, that uh, they can then run away with a lead, they can play to it, everything like that. But we didn't really see either player get the chance to really capitalize on a lead. So we that might change this next game, but it could also be that they're just so evenly matched at the moment that uh, it all comes down to who, you know, like who they, they, that, once they get to those higher percents, they can just die. Ooh, uh, no. Okay. Unfortunate SD from Coldman right there. I think they got the side beats to the down B. Uh, excellent mind games coming out from Dark Falcon. <laughs> Yeah, forcing the SD like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I really like... That was a really good use of the crouch. Uh, yeah. But as you see right there, I guess, does he always not crouch under cross? Or is it... Does he sometimes go underneath it? We'll have to, we'll have to you know, wait and see. Because we're probably going to see that interaction happen a bit more. Wow, actually, didn't get hit by the, uh, the worst of that ledge trap. <gasps> oh! Very dangerous for Colvin right now. Dark Falcon is setting up shop. Don't ever get right. the book at him, and they're taking stocks. And so this time around, the fact that that SD happened while Dark Falcon is at very low percent means that we do see him able to exploit this lead. And what a lead it is right now. You see three stocks to one. It feels like he's about to lap him in percent. Great parry there. Um, but... Uh, this is the sort of thing where Coltman probably has to just keep his mind fresh for game three. They can definitely take the data from this game right here and move on to the next game because it's going to be a very hard comeback to pull off. Especially with how slow Snake has to play. Just to make it happen. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Like, I'm All just going right, to so get you with this one somehow. <laughs> Then again, Coleman can bring this back. They bought that uh, 50 really 51 fast. 51 damage. One good axe from Dark Falcon, though. Oh, oh wow. That's the, really bad. <laughs> that DI wasn't great, but uh, he survived, so it was optimal. Coleman can take this. Uh, I mean, sorry, Dark Falcon can take this a little more lightly as they have a stock. One good straight hit Ooh. from the whip. Yeah, if, if you're Dark Falcon, like, that's the kind of this layer, this range he's at right now. I... Yeah, up okay. he had a shield, the punish Yeah, that. no, that was actually, I was about to say, like, just stay out of his range of, like, forward tilt and everything. But he went in there, and those move. Uh, oh, I forget the exact uh, numbers. The, the, like, minus on block of, like, a sour spot back air is nothing. <laughs> so he baited him into the punish. Yeah, and just shielded that and reverse up be at a shield. Uh, so, uh, uh, uh. yeah, kind of, uh, I mean, he had room to work with. Uh, so I understand why he decided to go for a bait and punish at the end there, but. All right, so both players bring it one to one. Fortunate SD from Coltman, stock one. Hopefully it doesn't happen again, game three. <laughs> or if it does, it happens to both of them. Yeah, exactly. You know, homie stocks. That way it's an even game. <laughs> Yeah, Coleman pretty much, like, <laughs> has the matchup down. They just need to what? not let, like, unfortunate SDs happen. Meanwhile, Dark Falcon is making it very hard just to, like, uh, let Coleman stay in. It's just a matter yeah. of, like, who, who who can, like, trade here. But like, I really do think that this next game could go either way. That yes. last game, maybe you can't read too much into it. Uh, just because, you know, how that first stock went for Coltman. Yeah. But, yep, we're going to be having the same characters. Uh, do you think we're going to see a stage switch? Definitely, as they both left the arena for it. But, like, uh, where, though? Where could they go? Um, 
Lilac. Lilac. Interesting choice. I haven't seen this in a while. Okay, so the the fact like, like a lot of what Simon has can be angled, and the you know that this the fact this stage has slants, maybe he's gonna be able to trick him up even more. Like you see that uh um you see that he's going for these like low angled forward to forward airs. You know, so yeah. far, Dark Falcon has been doing a very good job on oh, stage. Oh, no. As I, I think say that. Like the stage. Yeah, that, that, but this is like the first game so far where an early stock like that has happened. Yeah, and you can see one of the advantages to this stage, he's able to exert so much pressure from the other side of the, the, the galaxy. Yeah, it, it kind of feels like he's he's making uh, Dark Falcon work a little bit harder for their setups. As like he's, he can easily duck that now, the angles of the, of the stage. Ooh, interesting. He Punch went one. aggressive for that dash attack. Oh! Ooh, there it is. Dark Falcon and answering right even, back. Even now, despite the fact that, you know, Coltman took that huge early lead, he didn't get to capitalize it at all. Snake's normal. It feels like Snake's normal defensive game plan just isn't effective against the way Dark Falcon is playing. And yeah, Belmont 2 is looking a little bit stronger than some grenades. You know that shield pressure they're trying too. It's very the awareness, yeah. recognizing that uh, Coleman was gonna get hit by that cross, and we have completely tied in percent. But Coleman's the one trapped at the ledge, able to get. It feels like he's in the corner, not necessarily at the ledge, but he's just perpetually in the corner. Yeah, these platforms are helping uh, Dark Falcon a little bit too. I think. Be very rough for Coleman to sneak in uh, on the gaps and just try to oh. jab Punisher. Oh my, you're out. right. Coleman counterpicked this stage. Yes. I, I was surprised by that because I'm pretty sure that there are a Ooh. lot of things that Belmonts can do uh, on this stage specifically, as we're seeing. I wonder if this was maybe more of a comfort pick than anything. I, I do think that. I, I get the reasoning though. Um, yeah. I do think that Dark Falcon is uh, oh, those using the very to dangerous. better. Snake is heavy. Snake avoid dying to that. I'll be out of shield, but not this one. Oh, no, no, never mind. He's still heavy. Yeah, it's well, also that up B is slightly stale and has terrible knockback growth. Very high base knockback. That's why you see, you know, sometimes him kill off the top. Oh, oh, this is. I. 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 All right. He actually closes out the stock. I. I don't know. That was the sort of situation where I could very easily have seen Coleman make it back to stage and just get hit him with a single up tilt. But speaking of up tilts, yeah, that seems to be what Coleman's looking for. Staying more grounded, trying to very carefully Fire. inch his way past this wall. But the wall is ever moving and ever changing. And Coleman has not been able to find a way in. As I say that, catches the shield drop with the up tilt. Now we have an even game once more. This could go either way. Coleman may be down like a little bit in percent, but he can catch that up really fast for being snake. Yeah, I do think that uh, Coleman can definitely win this, but I think he can't win it the way he's been playing it. He needs to change, like, yeah, you see, he's starting to be yeah. more aware of the stage itself. Um, oh, that's off stage. I don't think he has a Oh! That would have been the craziest read. Oh, what a spot dodge. That would have been... Huge from it's guard the guy on bad. that. Was no, he misses the chain on the ledge and dies for it. Delma recovery. Yeah. I wonder if Lilat played a factor in there. Um, but I think it did too. Give yeah. my sons an, an extendo or something. That was just sad to watch. He was he was basically screwed there. The angle he got sent out from this down smash. Like, that was that. I think he di down though right there. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, but good stuff to uh, at Coltman. least let that reach. I, I think, <laughs> yeah, I think he was just straight up too far. Yeah, yeah, I think that's. Yeah. 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 yeah I, th I don't think he was. I think he wasn't. Too, I feel like too I've far, seen but... the magnet from that distance though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I think he was maybe like just out of range, like just on the cusp of like being able to miss it. Yeah, cause like, <laughs> let's let's go to the back. Let's let's watch this one. Look look at this. Oh no. So he must have been like just out of range. Like a little bit. Yeah. 
Hey man, if anyone else with a chain can reach that far, they should let my son Belmont recover like that too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. But good stuff to Coltman. That was winner's match, correct? That was quarters, yeah. Uh, that was we're quarters, gonna have yeah. one quarters. more quarters a match coming in, which is going to be Till Jax. So we're just outside of top eight right now? Yep, yep, one match away yep. from top eight. And then uh Tiljax versus nine super. Till Jax.